Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Kashif Kamran. Diversifying the board is one of a key syllabus area for strategic business leader under the syllabus area B. And that is what I am discussing today for my SBL students. Now, first of all, what is the meaning of the word board diversity? There is no uniform definition of what board diversity actually mean or what diversity actually mean. But traditionally speaking, diversity can cover lots of factors like age, race, educational backgrounds, experience, gender, professional qualifications of the directors, etc. Some may interpret board diversity by taking into account the less tangible factors like the life experience and the personal attitudes. So some of the theories suggest that the personal attitudes and life experiences are also part of diversity. In short, the board diversity aims to cultivate a broad spectrum of the demographic attributes and characteristics in the boardroom. So you bring uh, into one boardroom people from diversified backgrounds and they sit at one place and are part of decision making. Now, is it a beneficial approach? Is diversity beneficial or are, are there some disadvantages or some implications to diversity as well? So let's, let's do a pros and cons analysis of board diversity or having a diversified board in an organization. In an SPL paper, you might be asked to write a report to someone um, as an advisor where you're advising uh, on board diversity or whether it is relevant for the given organization to introduce board diversity. So in that sort of a context, you should know the pros and cons analysis to better evaluate board diversity as a subject matter. Now, first of all, when we look at the benefits of a board diversity, uh, more effective decision making, which is the synergistic impact, uh, which will come with the diversified board sitting at one place and deciding. Uh, lots of views, uh, lots of perspective from different angles would come in and that will lead to a more effective decision making. Yes, there could be a disadvantage to this as well, that it will delay the decision making when you need to look into so many views and perspective. And there is a disadvantage as well that it may, it may bring a lot of conflicts as well. But currently, uh, more effective decision making, a more synergistic decision making uh, is a key benefit of having a diversified board. Better utilization of the talent pool. So you're trying to make your board a more talented one by bringing people from diversified background and making a better utilization of the talent at one place. So your board should be more competent, more calibered, uh, in terms of age, experience, different different educational backgrounds, different personal life experiences or personal attitudes. And that at one place is a better utilization of the talent pool. Enhancement of the corporate reputation. Definitely, if you have a diversified board, uh, it will enhance your market standing and image. If the public or the stakeholder or the shareholder realize the importance of board diversity. And investor relations by establishing company as a responsible corporate citizen. When you have a diversified board, there is a possibility that you have people or you have directors who have normative approach uh, or who have instrumental approach. And that's coming together at one place. You might have some directors who might be against corporate social responsibility, who thinks that corporate social responsibility is a cost, but there might be certain directors in that diversified pool uh, who are in favor of sustainable business practices or corporate social responsibility. And they believe this is one of the key responsibility of a business organization. So I think with that blend of people coming at one place and with that blend of uh, opinions coming at one place, you might have 
uh, instrumental and normative philosophy sitting at one place. And in that way around, uh, there is a fair chance that your business is promoted as a more responsible citizen, which enhance your business repute uh, in, in the market and among the investors. So these are some benefits of the board diversity. But with benefits, uh, there are some implications too. So let's discuss what are likely implications of a board diversity. What is the cost and implication or what are disadvantages, whatever you want to refer to, uh, of diversifying the board? Diversifying the board is not without cost. Though a board is inherently subject to conflict as it is formed by individuals collectively. You know, board is a composition of people and where you have a composition of people sitting at one place, conflict is something inherent, is something implied, is something embedded. But having a more diversified uh, pool of people sitting at one place, you are opening yourself to more conflicts. You're opening yourself to more frictions. Uh, you're more opening yourself to more rivalries because one person might not like the view of another person and so on and so forth. Even though that that can enhance the decision making by bringing lots of perspective at one place, but rivalries, jealousy, frictions, uh, because people are coming from different backgrounds, uh, might increase uh, the uh, might increase the time you take to. Uh, take a decision and there could be implications for that there could be costs associated with that and that would uh, put the morale of the boardroom down if there is a lot of frictions rivalries conflicts coming among the board members this may split the board into subgroups uh, you might mistrust other members of the board and you might be reluctant sharing information with other board members. So if such sort of problems creeps into the boardroom because of diversity, then diversity is not giving you the favorable impact which you thought of initially. So you need to do a careful pros and cons analysis in the exam paper even for diversity that not just it is beneficial, it do have some risk factors as well. And if those risk factor creeps into the boardroom, it can really spoil the environment of the boardroom uh, and, uh, and the environment in which decisions are taken for the long-term success of the shareholders. The next one in terms of the cost and implications. Further, the board may potentially ignore the underlying attributes of a successful director. For, for lots, lots of organization, uh, board diversity is like a formality, is like a box ticking, is like a necessary evil that we have to do it. Why we have to do it? Because other companies are doing it, or this is an industry norm, or uh, my competitor is doing it, for example. And in that way around, you are just imposing board diversity on you. And uh, even though that's not really beneficial for your organization, because the current board which you have is, is excellent in terms of their attributes of, of successful directors. The current board of directors have demonstrated uh, their have demonstrated how the business can be successful and they have transformed your business to a successful business. That means the directors currently sitting in have the attributes of what make a successful director. But if you just uh, ignore that and you just try to bring in the diversity uh, just as a necessary evil, just as a formality, just as a show off, that you do have diversity as an organization, it might negatively impact your business success and might negatively impact the morale of the existing directors who had made company successful or transformed the company into success. So a lot of attention has to be given when you think about bringing diversity to the board and you need to think about the risk factors, you need to think about the red flags, you need to think about the implications on a very serious note because it can really spoil the environment in which decisions are taken uh, for the organization. So with benefits, there are disadvantages and needs to be carefully considered. How to promote uh, board diversity? In some of the countries, uh, we do have uh, quotas on the board, and these are international practices where you do have 
a certain regulation that a certain members of the board should be female, for example, 10% or 20%. There are certain quotas on age, experiences, diversity of educational background. Now you need to fulfill those quotas because it is mandatory in certain countries. Or in the other countries where we have a comply or explain approach as a corporate governance, corporate governance best practice is to diversify board. But you might disagree with it. That is the reason we have a comply or explain approach. You either comply with the best practices of corporate governance and you abide by the best practices of corporate governance in terms of diversity or vice versa, you believe that diversity isn't, a, isn't something good for my business because my existing directors have really transformed the company into a successful venture and I don't want to disturb them. So you explain that. You explain the reason of not having diversity because diversity not necessarily is a good thing for every organization. For some, it could be. For some, it could not be. So it's not something that you impose upon. It's something you need to take a decision very carefully. So this is how to promote diversity. So as a student of SBL, you should know the meaning, what exactly diversity is. And if you bring that diversity among the board members, what benefits you can get as an organization and what implications you can get as an organization. So if in the exam paper, you are advising on board diversity or you are advising upon whether the board should introduce uh, diversity. So you should know both perspective to write a good answer and adapt this knowledge with the case given information. So I wish you all a very best of luck. And I hope this discussion around diversity would help broaden your perspective. And there is an examining team article uh, itself on board diversity under the syllabus area B of, of the SPL syllabus. It's not a new article. It's quite an old article because it's a mainstay area of the SPL paper. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye and Allah Hafiz.